how this turn. Uh, go to your A drive. Go to your A drive. Then look for the same name. Yeah, this is the one that we have. Open it. Am I right? This is the one in the boxes. Yeah. Okay. When you're ready. Oh, and when the, before that, uh, when you're doing a little mini lesson, I think what, one thing to bear in mind is uh, try to make it in such a way that try to highlight the things that you've learned mm -hmm. and try to see whether there are any misconceptions that they have and try to make the presentation meaningful for the rest of the class. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, this is uh, Mr. Lau, of which will be IT. Yeah, we don't need to the last one. Yeah, we don't need to the last one. Okay, um, I'll be doing question 12 from the tutorial, which is actually quite simple, but then it helps to clarify some of the further details that I was unclear about. So the question number 12 is, does a heavier skier accelerate faster down the same slope? So basically, the question um, revolves around the, the matter whether mass is dependent on the acceleration of an object. So what I've done is I created two objects which are the yellow balls. One is 2 kg and the other is 200 kg. So they differ in masses. So since I want to find out whether mass is dependent on the acceleration, right? So I change the, the mass of the two objects. Okay? And then these are the two slopes which will the which the balls will be going down from. And um, I've I've um, I've ensured that both the slopes are similar, whether the angles are the same or not. So I've just copied the two slopes so they are similar, so that they will be similar. Okay, so after um, coming up with this setup, I will press 1 and then you'll see that the board stop. So, okay, so now at, at this point of time, the balls have gone down the slope and they're halfway there. So you can see from the tables, this will be um, the left side, the ball that represents, which the, the ball that is on the left, and the boxes on the right side represents the ball which is towards the right side. Okay. So you can look at the acceleration here. The the acceleration of the two balls, right? The difference is very negligible. The one on the 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 mass of the ball, which is two kg, right? The acceleration is three point two six nine, whereas the ball. Oh, I mean, yeah. So it's, the other ball is the acceleration is also three point two six nine. So it shows that there is um, the acceleration is the same. So it um, it concludes that the mass doesn't really uh, doesn't doesn't affect the acceleration of an object. And um, yeah, so I I found out I found this out through this experiment. And then there was another thing which I was a bit unclear about. Like for example, there were this this part where acceleration x and acceleration y. So I wasn't clear why, how come they are acceleration in two different directions. So from this experiment, uh, from this setup I found out that actually it represents I wasn't clear why there's acceleration x and there's acceleration y. And then um, by um, uh, by asking Mr. Lee, I found out that actually when the slope um, when the slope is this way, right, the ball is accelerating to the to the left. So the acceleration um, you got to run it, then you will see the. Oh, yeah. When this the ball is accelerating towards the left direction, right? The acceleration um, in the towards the x the, in the direction towards the x axis will be negative because it's going to the left. According to the you know um, is that a marker? is 
rolling towards the left direction right, this way. So the x and the y values will be negative. So therefore the acceleration x and the acceleration y, which is towards the x direction and the y direction, will, the values will both be negative. And however, when you change the slope to this, this direction, right, the ball will be rolling towards the right direction. So therefore the acceleration of x or the acceleration of x and y will be both positive in the x direction and the y direction. Mm -hmm. yeah. So in conclusion, the mass does not um, affect the acceleration of an object. And furthermore, through this experiment, I found I got to tell my dad about the different accelerations in the x and y directions. Okay. That's all. Thank you. Any questions? Yeah, any questions? Do you, do you also understand why there is acceleration x and acceleration y? Yes. Okay. Hey, there's no question. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Can I ask a question? Oh, sure. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Can you show me the direction for the overall acceleration 3.27? Sorry? Oh, good yes. question, good question. Can you show me the overall direction, I mean the direction of the overall acceleration? Uh, you have a very right, 3.269. Yeah? Yeah, so, so, where should we wait? Where is the acceleration? No, the ball is accelerating here, right? Yeah, yeah, so, what's the direction of the acceleration? Oh, this way. No, it, it was an arrow, you need to draw how we have drawn it. The, uh, the acceleration? Yeah. Acceleration. Except the way we normally draw acceleration. Normally we use double arrow. Oh, okay. Maybe you like to draw double arrow. Very good. This one with this one. Okay, thank you. Okay, very good. Any questions? Okay, now just to add on to what Aprova has said, um, because <coughs> she found it personally meaningful to talk about AX and AY, because perhaps she had, she didn't, uh, she now finally appreciates the concept that we are actually adopting the Cartesian coordinate system. Oh, Cartesian coordinate system. So anything that goes here will be plus for x. Anything that goes up will be plus for y. Oh, because this ball was traveling this way, so uh, it was some amount x. So that's why this number is positive. But this is coming down. So that's why this is negative, if you see properly. Is there a negative sign here? Uh, there's a negative sign. Huh? Just run, run a while and check. Just run a bit. Uh, okay. Stop. See, there's a negative sign here. Uh, so she found this uh, lesson or this kind of format of lessons finally make her realize something which is uh, very interesting for her to find out.